From one voice to another, and Tushar Chakrabarti in conversation with Spencer Dale, Group Chief Economist at BP. I think what's happened in terms of solar energy, in particular in India, has been, you know, really surprising. And the, the, around the world, people have looked at it with, with, with considerable admiration in terms of the pace at which solar energy has grown and the, and the pace at which costs have come down. And we think that's likely to continue um, going forward. So in one of our main scenarios in the energy outlook, we have solar energy continuing to grow very rapidly, such that renewable energy overall accounting for around a third of all power generation um, in India by 2040. That's a remarkable growth of, of, of renewable energy. So renewable energy becoming a very central part of the, the fuel mix within India. Right. Uh, you said that uh, you pointed out about solar energy, saying that it's like uh, the growth has been exponential, but uh, fossil fuels still continue to be a dominant source of power production, especially coal. In that particular scenario, how do you see the demand of coal uh, and as well as oil and gas in India and globally? So? Yeah. So in terms of coal today, over three quarters of all the power generated within India today is, is by coal. I expect that share to gradually decline over time helped by that very rapid growth in renewable energy. But even in with that very rapid growth of renewable energy, coal likely to account for around two-thirds of, pa of power generation in 2040. So coal remaining a central part of the fuel mix um, within the Indian economy. In terms of natural gas, we think the demand for natural gas is likely to, to more than triple over, um, um, over the next 25 years. So strong growth in, 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 natural, in natural gas as well.